good dinguses of all ages, it's Death Hog here, and today we're going to be talking about the things that Call of Duty Ghost just fails to complete that other Call of Duties have completed. And it's just really annoying how the newest game in the uh, franchise doesn't even do some things that... <laughs> Sorry, it's under my mouth. That something that games two generations ago did... Uh, and they did correctly, there was no need to like remove them. Alright, we're gonna start right away with a huge difference in Call of Duty Ghost is the not folk uh, it's just not focused around objective play. You only get points to the objective if you're the first person on there. If you're the first person on the flag, you're the only person that gets points, and that doesn't make sense at all. Like the other people are helped. It wasn't just you, they should get points too. There was no work like that in Modern Warfare three. And it work like that. You got points. I mean, you got points. You didn't get. Sc you don't get score streak points. You don't get uh, point streak points. That's what it is. You got managed to do that. Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, and all of a sudden, hey, let's just change it so people don't play the objective, because there's no more incentive to go uh, go on the flag if you're not the first person there. There's really no reason to do it. And that's really terrible. Infinity Ward thinks that people. Yeah, they'll still play the objective. They gotta get that XP. Losing Alpha. No. That's stupid. All right, That's moving on to our next thing, we got the challenges are now operations. This is probably one of the dumbest things I've ever seen in my entire Losing life. Bravo. Not only uh, are not all the challenge active, uh, all the challenges active at the same time, you need to go in and directly select like certain operations that you want active. That's stupid. What if you complete a challenge and it's not even active? It doesn't count. It doesn't count at all. And then when you do complete a challenge, you need to like, it doesn't disappear, you need to go on there and physically change the challenge. Like, that's just pointless, what was wrong with the old challenge system? You could have just had every challenge in effect, and the same thing still would have worked. There was nothing wrong with challenges. Just, uh, Finley, Finley Ward saying, let's just spice it up a bit. And again, it failed. Another thing that I really don't like is the integrated attachments into some guns. Oh, what? Why? What? First of all, it's really not fair if certain guns come with stuff. That means other people could have up to four attachments on their gun. That's just incredibly overpowered. And some, I mean, like a silencer. That's something you could put on every gun. But like the uh, the R the ARX50 that comes with a laser sight. You can't even put that on something. It just comes with it. That's completely unfair. No other gun can even like challenge that because it has a laser sight. I mean. It's not the best laser sight, but it's still it's better than nothing. And this chainsaw has a laser sight too, but that I can understand to hit fire only gun. And just that doesn't make sense. And then on the sniper, it has like the apparently the more people you kill, the uh, less recoil you get. How is that supposed to work? Does the gun just sense the bullets? They're just hitting something, and like oh yeah, it's killed. Let's just reduce the recoil. How does that work? That doesn't. That's not even logical. Alright, let's just shoot some bullets. Somehow the bullet that's going through somebody's body transmitted back to the sniper and somehow reduced recoil. Good job, Vinny Ward. You made a completely retarded attachment. Next, we got the removal of game modes. What? They are for the demolition. That's been a game mode since either World of War or Modern Warfare 2. Nothing wrong with it. A lot of people played it. It wasn't even like the like bottom thing. It was in, uh, it wasn't in Ground War. Security it was Bravo. part, it was just, everybody played Demolition. It was part of Mosh Pit, you got Bravo so secure. much XP for it, and they just completely removed that. And they had Search and Destroy taken it, taken it out of the game for the first week, because they're like, no, we want people to experience Search and Rescue. No one asked for that, and that's just, why? They're just trying to push us to play new things that are seriously not needed. Like, what is the point Where's of that? Charlie? Let's just take away all these game modes, and then I, they'll probably just add in Demolition as, like, some DLC. Or something, they'll be like, yep, DLC, you got Demolition. You gotta pay, like, five bucks, you get Demolition. And then people will buy it, because, of course, everybody wants Demolition. And then, another thing is Infected. Why is there only one class loadout for Infected? Auto Warfare 3, you had, like, the Juggernaut versus Striker. You had, uh, Snipers versus, uh, Knives. You had tons of combinations and it was 
different experience every time you played Affected. That was just Bulldog Knife. That's it. Every map. And it's just boring now. And then, uh, there's tons more stuff. The new specialist, the way that works, that's just... What? I mean, I understand the thing at the end, but, like, you need to get, like, 11 kills for all those perks. I mean, who cares if perks are strong enough? That was another. That was never a problem in any other Call of Duty. And then... It's already hacked. Like, the game came out, like, not even a month ago. There's already people hacking. I have a gameplay coming up uh, in my next video of some guy with every single perk and a silenced uh, minigun. How is the newest game in your series already? It's stupid in Finley Wood. They don't understand hacking prevention. Whenever a game is hacked, it's COD 4, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and uh, World of War. World of War was three generations ago. And that, that, it was just a copy of COD 4. But Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, there was, like, literally no hackers, or little to none hackers. And because it's Treyarch game, Treyarch knows how to, like, apparently patch hackers that no one else, uh, Infinity Ward's like, them, we don't know how to do that. And then squads just sucks. Squads mode, I have I played, uh, Safeguard, it sucks. There's no, like, round system for any, I mean, I think there's a round system, but it's just, there's no, survival mode was, like, ten times better. Why did they have to get rid of that? It was so good. You had, you had to buy stuff, it wasn't just like, yeah, stuff's just gonna come down randomly, and then you'll have to pick that, yeah. Not fun at all. And then... The addition of possibly the worst kill streak ever imaginable. This guard dog. Let's just have a commando guard dog that just spawns it. People get killed off the spawn. People will just pop up. The dog will just pop up and just commando pounce somebody. The lo where's the logic in that? Like at least have like the dog run into the map or something. They had no problem doing that in Black Ops One. And then. It has like double the health of everybody else. It takes literally like four, two times the amount of bullets to kill a dog, which is wearing like a vest, than it takes a, a soldier that takes like two bullets to take down. And then also the addition of the worst possible map ever. Well, it's not, first, it's not really the worst possible. Downturn will forever be the worst possible map. It is flooded. It's not really that bad of a map, but. They added pointless stuff like the water. If you can't swim in the water, don't put it there. Like you literally just sink like a rock. Boop. You're like a soldier. Even like a four-year-old can swim. You just boop, sink. You're done. Yep, you're done. And then we have the copying of Battlefield. Whenever an Infinity War game comes out, it's just a complete copy of every of just the Battlefield game. Like Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, 3, for example. Uh, Battlefield 3 and, uh, had the G36, it had the uh, ACWR, it had tons of guns that were in Modern Warfare 3, but just so happens Battlefield 3 kind of had them first. Now we got Battlefield 4 is out now, it uh, came with the AK-12, it had a map called Flood Zone, hmm, sounds familiar. Flooded, flood zone. Hmm, where'd they get that? AK-12? We have a whole new arsenal. Yep. Battlefields. And then Battlefield 4 has the war machine kind of thing. And W, uh, Call of Duty Ghost. Yeah, we have war machine kind of thing too. And just sheer amount of, like, unoriginality in Infinity War. And, like, half of the game is just copy and paste of past Call of Duty. Like, Four or five guns in multiplayer have an uh, already used Enemy reload Charlie. animation. Uh, parts of the story, like the, the whole entire beginning story, is just rust. Uh, not rust. Uh, the Enemy final mission of Modern Warfare 2 campaign. Friendly satcom active. Like seriously, you couldn't think of anything else. Like uh, just for an example of the uh, what's that gun? That uh, the marksman rifle that like the C something. If it loads exactly as the CM901. And then, what else is there? This is just. How do you do that? Enemy no, not the Marksman rifle. The uh, Remington R5 reloads exactly as the CM901. The Marksman rifle reloads like the Scar H. Bravo. Whose idea was it? Let's just copy the old games. No, we'll notice. We Pretty sure we noticed. 
willingly or not. And then, uh, what else we got? The IEDs. The most annoying equipment ever. You can't even s at least claymores. Claymores did the same thing, but you saw the claymore lights, and they were kind of big. So if you had set rep, you could see them. These things are like lunch bag size. They have no lights, and it's just beep, 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 boom. You're dead. Claymore, you walked into it, you're dead, but you saw the lights. Like you could like, plan where those are gonna be. These people could like put them on the wall, on the ceiling. You can't check for that. And there's not even there's not even EMP grenades in this game, so you can't even like. EMP check. Alright, well that's all this time that's all the time I got today. I will talk to you guys tomorrow and we'll probably continue this with the uh, Infinity Ward's lack of detail. And that's don't forget to hit the like button. I'm Death Hug and I'll see you guys later. Bye.